Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we are going to follow on in some respects to a video we done earlier in the week where we looked at identifying um, how to increase a number by a given percentage. So we'll probably have the link to that video uh, on the screen now. Uh, so if you want to go check it out after this video, by all means check it out. And then this video we're now doing complements that by sharing the reverse. So where before we knew what our starting value was and we wanted to increase it by a certain percent. This time we're going to look at having our before and after number uh, that you see in B and C and then identifying what percentage change has happened for the value in column B to get changed into the value into column C. So as you can see, to give it just a full example of that, in this first one in row three, we can see that uh, 100, um, well, 100 was the starting number before the change, and after the change, the number was 110. So quick maths could tell you that that's, uh, inc or the 100 has increased by 10%. So uh, obviously there's a percentage change of 10. So in order to do that calculation, it's really quite straightforward, but we'll break it down to two parts just to make it clear. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find um, that what number different, so what the number is different. So in order to do that, we can simply just do our equal symbol and do some basic um, arithmetic formula in here. So we can do equals and then we do what the um, after or the final number is. And simply we just minus that um, or minus the before number from the after number. And when we hit enter, do -do -do -do. You can see that we've got ah, so we'll just change that back to take percentages off for now, and we'll just make that into a number. Cool. So we can see I haven't put our formula in here, and just click back there so you can see it all. So we've just done C three minus B three. So it's just saying our after number of one hundred and ten minus ten tells us that the difference that has occurred is a number of ten. So that is our first point. So what we can do is drag that down. And you can see what that looks like for all those other results. So we can see that uh, 10 was also the change uh, in row uh, number 4. We had a change of 5 in 5. In row 6 and 7, we've had a reduction. So we can see that they're minus numbers. So from 200 to 100 in row 6, it's a reduction of 100. And a reduction of 25 in row 7. So great, we know what the number change is. So how do we now put that into a percentage? Well, what we want to do is we now want to work out what this number is, um, a percentage of our starting number. Uh, and to do that, we just need to expand our formula slightly more. So what we're going to do is we'll just add some brackets around this first part here, just so that's completely separate in its own calculation itself. You could just hit enter there and allow that to just be a formula on its own and that the brackets don't affect it at all. So what we want to now do in our formula is to take the result of our calculation here, what is 10, and divide that by the value we have in column B, so the before number. And what that will do is it will tell us what our change amount is as a percentage of our before number, what will in turn give us what the overall change percentage was. In order to do that and get the divide, all we need to do is a forward slash. Uh, what is the question button on your keyboard? Uh, that's probably a universal one, so it should be the same for everyone. So just get that divide in there and then just select that value you've got in column B, so the before. And then once again, just hit enter. Ooh. Change that to B3. And you can see it's now given us um, a decimal number. Um, and for those who don't know, uh, in Excel, or well, in just in general, or in general, uh, a decimal number of Point or 0 0.1 is 10%. So that's obviously how it works because a percentage is a number of 100. So when you look at decimals, uh, the percentage will be represented as a decimal number out of the number 1. So 1 being 100% and obviously the decimals there um, below that being a percentage of that number. So what we need to do is we can just drag this formula down for all these other values so we can see what the decimal change is. Uh, so we can see what that looks like. Um, we can see that we've got a change of 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.25 and so on. Might not look too logical like that, but if we simply go up to the top into our uh, ribbon here and select the percentage value, we can now see what those percentage numbers look like. And these should start to look like some similar numbers to you having res um, received our final result here. So once 
jumps out straight away is obviously the before of 200 and the after of 100. You can see that obviously the 200 has reduced by 50% and that is obviously what our answer is here. For those more complicated to calculate, uh, especially down into row 7 and 8 here, you can see that uh, the reduction from 75 to 50 was a reduction of 33%. And that's how you calculate what the percentage change was. And the best, the, or the, the great thing about this is obviously it works for pluses when we look at uh, rows 3 to uh, 5 and obviously uh, 8 and 9. And it also works exactly the same for minuses. So you don't need to have multiple formulas in here. And we'll just go into that one more time so you can see the formula in its entirety. So the basic process is take your after number or your, um, your final number and minus that and minus from that the before number. So for us it was obviously take the value um, in column C and deduct from that the value in column B, what gives you the change amount. Next part is then simply just to take that change amount and work out what that change amount is as a percentage against your starting number. And as you remember we've used the brackets here just to separate these uh, the, the two parts should we say of the equation. It makes it a bit similar, simpler on the eye as well uh, just for when you're looking back at uh, and checking back your work. But there you go, that's how you work out the percentage change when you've got the before and after number. We hope you enjoyed that video. So like we said at the beginning, if you haven't already, check out the other video we did in which we showed you how to work out what the after number was, having already got the percentage to change by. Um, so the link to that again should be on the screen now. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Make sure you hit that bell notification button so that uh, YouTube notifies you when a new video of ours comes out on the platform. Links to our social media of Instagram and Facebook are in the description to this video, so you might want to check those out. Please do give them a follow as well, and they're also a great way of being notified of when uh, new videos have come out or when new videos will be coming out. And as always, last one, I keep saying as always, if you do have any questions, those two platforms, Facebook and Instagram, or drop us a comment below this video and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video. Of course.